Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we have to talk about logically equivalent um, information. So let's go through one. If it is January 31st, then it is my birthday. Okay, that actually is my birthday. Anybody else? January 31st? January? So. Close, close. You're getting, you're getting good. But 31st is ta, it's the last day of the month. That's special. <coughs> so anyways, it says if it's January 31st, it's my birthday, right? So you could say, well, so if, if we have January 31st, then it's my birthday. So is that statement true? Yeah, because if it's January 31st, then it's my birthday. So as long as it's January 31st, then we know it's going to be my birthday, right? So then we go and test the contrapositive to check logically equivalent. All right. So we said you could either write the converse or the contrapositive. So um, let's see here. The contrapositive contrapositive is if it is not my birthday. then it is not January 31st. And is that true as well? If today is not my birthday, then we know it's not January 31st. Does that make sense? So that's how the conditional, conditional and contrapositive are logically equivalent statements. Because they essentially are saying the exact same thing. Their truth is exactly the same. Make sense? OK. Um, so it's going to be really important for you guys to understand. Just make sure that you have. And then we could go through.